you know? Yeah. So would you guys be more likely to forgive or what, which forms of cheating would you guys be more likely to forgive and move past versus another? So emotional versus physical, are you guys more likely to um, forgive someone or move past something because your partner cheated on you emotionally but not physically, vice versa? If they had something going on for time, mm -hmm. like a side, side man, and then they didn't talk about, like, that's completely like, you did that intentionally, right? If there was a one-time mistake or like honest mistakes here and there, which everybody makes, you know? Mm -hmm. Then I'll be like, okay, I completely understand. How can we make? How can we talk and fix it so this doesn't happen as often? Like I, I might be, I know it sounds kind of toxic, but sometimes when another person cheats, sometimes it's not only their fault; it's also the other partner's fault. So you would communicate openly with your partner, as in um, talk about <coughs> something that maybe you would be doing that might be causing them to cheat. Okay, yeah, sure. But not to get like into crazy specifics as to <laughs> what happened. Um, it was an instance where it was emotional and ended up physical. Um, and when I found out, like obviously, like you don't want to stay in that situation. I feel like everyone should proactively get themselves outside of relationships like that and think about whether or not it's salvageable in the sense that like, do, is there enough of you to go back to that individual or do you need to start from scratch and build yourself up? Um, and in my case, I felt like I need to start from scratch and you know, get back to, to ground zero uh, alone. So I feel like it's really nuanced. Like some people don't feel as though um, it matters so much so that they, you know, they can go back to that individual and give them another chance or whatever the case is. So it really like, depends on whoever. Yeah, I think there's uh, once that happens to you, once you've been cheated on, you're never the same ever again, even with that person, right? It's always there, it's always at the back of your mind. You can never look at them the same, the trust. It's almost impossible to break that but trust But that varies back. from person to person, Yeah, you know? Uh, when it happened to me, I was able to look past it because like, you can, you have feelings for somebody, right? You know, people say love is blind. So it makes you forget things because logic can be thrown out the window, you know? It makes you forget things that are clearly in front of your face. One thing that made being cheated on really easy to move past, it's gonna sound really awful, was I've been on both sides of the spectrum, right? I've been in, I guess you could say, sticky situations where, you know, I've compromised my relationship, I've gotten physical or intimate with somebody else who was other, other than my girlfriend, and in that moment, it was great, but you wake up in the morning like, holy crap, you know, you still love her at the end of the day. And you feel like shit. when she made the same mistake, I was like, God damn, I've been in the exact same, exact same situation. It doesn't mean I love her any less, but at that moment, at that time, I, you know, I made a mistake. It's interesting to see it from both sides of the spectrum. So did your realization come that you made a mistake after you cheated or after she cheated? You know, when you, if you're the cheater in that moment and you keep it a secret, everything's fine and dandy, you have no idea how much it hurts until you get cheated on. You're like, holy crap, this destroys a person. Yeah. Also, she never knew. She didn't find out until after. So, for those who have... Or until this video, maybe. <laughs> <laughs>